by your reaction. Can you go ahead and just reiterate what this means? Well, it was, a, it's a, it was a great day for our sport globally. Um, I think in the in the process of this over the last six months of what happened in, in Fe on February the 12th to today, uh, United Wrestling from all over the country, all over the world, um, both locally, nationally, and, and obviously worldwide. Um, you know, you, you don't you don't get voted out uh, six months ago and get voted back in. It's the first time in the history of the Olympic movement that that's ever happened. Uh, the wrestling um, community across the world spoke out. Um, and ultimately, I think it's, it, it has been a process for us all that has been good. Um, it's helped us uh, quickly, internationally, make quick changes from our leadership down. Um, and I think it's a reminder of us all that uh, in, in all sports, even here uh, locally, even uh, nationally, that uh, you got to continue to promote your sport. You got to continue to promote what's good in your sport, and you got to continue continue to represent yourself with with uh, sportsmanship and, and, and class. And not looking at it as a global level. Let's look at it as an Oklahoma level. How is this? At the state and this program in the future, and all the kids across the state. Well, you know, um, I received letters from the IOC members that, that I've written letters to, and they they recognize the history of wrestling in the state of Oklahoma, internationally, freestyle especially. Uh, they recognize the number of gold medals that the state has won since 1924 um, in Amsterdam. Um, and for the state and for the young wrestlers across the state, uh, I don't think any of them grow up not thinking about being an Olympian. And I think that's what it's about. The Olympic movement and us remaining in the Olympics, it's about the opportunity. It's about the opportunity to have those dreams. It's about the opportunity to, to pursue those dreams. It's, it, that's more important than actually making a team. I had four brothers and all four of us tried, tried out for the Olympics. All four of us had uh, aspirations of making an Olympic team, um, and only one of us did it, and that was me. But I think if you ask my brother Mark, or my brother Patrick, or, or my oldest brother Leroy, is there any regret in the pursuit of making an Olympic team? And I, I think you'll find them, all of them will say no. It was probably one of their biggest rewards, and through the discipline and through the sacrifice, it's helped them grow as men and, and be successful as husbands and fathers. and. And uh, some of them coaches, some of them in business, and, and obviously my oldest uh, brother running the Wrestling Hall of Fame here in Stillwater, Oklahoma. So I think it's the pursuit of the Olympic dream that's more important because there's only a few of us that will ever make that team, but it's the millions, as we saw in this presentation, 20 million wrestlers throughout the world, uh, 177 governing bodies that are organized, and promoting the sport. And for that reason, wrestling won on the first vote with the majority vote. What were your thoughts going into today? Well, I felt good, you know. I mean, you know, again, you know, February the 12th, uh, the IOC executive committee voted us off. And three months later, those same individuals put us back on. Why? The roar of the world. You know, they were vocal. Uh, quickly, they, they put us back on, the, on uh, the program as one of the three sports would move forward. And unfortunately in this whole thing is that in the process of the last 20 years, uh, when I competed in the Olympics in 1992, there was 13,300 athletes. Today in, the, in 2012, there was 10,000. Hopefully they'll see the movement needs to go in another direction. Sports like baseball and softball should be in the Olympics. It's one of our strong sports in the state of Oklahoma, um, in both both sports. And unfortunately for all this, somebody has to lose. Uh, I hate it to be in. I hate it that it's baseball and softball because I know I have nieces that that play softball here at Oklahoma State. Coaches softball, uh, very involved in the sport. Um, of course, I have some of my best friends that play baseball. Um, hopefully, as we move forward 
and may elect a new president tomorrow for, for the IOC. Hopefully we'll move forward to grow the Olympics like we have done in collegiate athletics. You know, here at Oklahoma State, we have more sports and more athletes participating than we did 20 years ago. And for most collegiate institutions, that has been the model, to grow, to give the youth an opportunity to participate, move on and have dreams and hopes. And um, for us, for wrestling, uh, I don't know of any young kid that doesn't think about being an Olympic champion, even if he's not good. <laughs> I'm going to repeat a question I've had for you because you're a traditionalist. So am I. But we've all had a chance now to see wrestling change its image a little with its rules and its presentation. And I have to admit, I'm coming around to it, and I, and I think it's, it's helped. I think you're, you're probably right. I mean, we're seeing uh, one of our biggest problems is, is like you said, is uh, I think internationally was a traditional sport that, for, that was in the ancient games. You want to keep that at all times. I mean, to me, you want to keep a little bit part of that, but, but evolutionizing your sport and moving forward is extremely important. And the bottom line is IOC spoke. And, and what I got out of today, guys, I don't know if you listened close enough by the questions from the executive committee to our president of the IOC is, Mr. President of wrestling in the world, the ancient games and the modern games has had wrestling. We expect wrestling to be at the top, not at the bottom. And that was the signal I saw. That's the signal as the IOC president closed today when he said, I hope that you make those changes. So what they're doing, they, they expect wrestling to, to carry the flag and, and sportsmanship and uh, doping and pre presentation and obviously um, and gender equity.